Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a prejudging of the 212 Mr. Olympia, and it turns out that the top two is Sean Clarita, of course, and Keon Pearson. It happened. Now, I gotta say, I was surprised when I saw this. I thought Keon was not gonna look this conditioned, but he pulled it off somehow. I mean, that last video of him that he posted, he seemed really soft, but... Apparently his conditioning wasn't any worse than anybody in this lineup, so he deservedly was in that first callout, actually in the top two, there was a two-man callout, I'm gonna show that to you in a second, we got a couple of very interesting photos and videos from different angles, different cameras, now here let's take a look first at the top four. While I was watching the live stream in the top four, I wasn't sure who else would be in the top two aside from Sean Clarita because Keon, Angel Calderon and Carrot Bajo were all really good, really close. You're gonna see in a second, maybe Angel Calderon was a little bit sharper, harder than Keon, but Keon just has that structure, man, and he's probably the biggest guy here if you talk about the frame. So as you can see from the back, Keon was in condition, none of these guys were like much sharper than him, you could say that Sean Clarita has more of that maturity, maybe he looks a little bit drier, a little bit more dense, but Keon is also in a very good condition, he has a phenomenal shape. Keon really surprised me from the back, in this back double bicep he looked phenomenal actually, the glutes were in, the hamstrings were in, the back looked really wide and conditioned, he looked really good, here is where he beats the other two guys and why he ends up in the top two callout. But more so with this pose, Keon in the front double looks the most dominant here and I think he's beating everybody in the front double. Can Keon win this whole show? We're gonna talk about that in a second. Now, if I was gonna criticize these two guys, there is one thing for both of them that is throwing me off really bad. Now, for Sean Clarita, that's his left leg that is definitely way bigger than the other one, than his right one. I mean, he is posing in such a way that you can hardly notice this imbalance, this asymmetry but you can see it if you pay attention to it, because I saw it in the physique update photos before the Mr. Olympia, and so I was paying attention to it, you can't really see it in the most poses, he hides it very well, but if you know it's there, then you know it's there, and it's not looking very good, I think that could be the reason why he can possibly lose this show, I mean, he is looking very good, but it's not a convincing win, I can't say he didn't bring it, he brought it, did he bring it 100%? Well, I would say so, like, I, I wouldn't say that he's not conditioned enough, I wouldn't say that he's not full enough, I can't really find anything, but maybe he should have been, like, 110%, you know, maybe he should have brought something new to the table if he wanted to have a convincing victory, however, the way he looks right now against Kian, I'm not so sure who is winning, I mean, Kian has the shape, he has that classic look, those pretty lines, but there is one thing about Keon that I really didn't like, and that's his midsection, the control of his midsection. Damn, Clarita is killing it in a side tricep. I mean, nobody is beating this guy in this pose. And now look at the look at Keon's midsection here. Like this diastasis, that diastasis, however you call it, the separation uh, of the of the abs in the center, uh, something that pregnant women get. Uh, Ronnie Coleman had it. It's gotten worse. It's much worse. And it's not only that. I think with that he lost some of the control of the abdomen. It, it's falling out very often. He lets it go. Look at this. Look at this. Like not very good. Not very nice. I mean, Sean Clarita's midsection is not the best, but it's not this bad. And Keon, again, he has. He is known for his aesthetics, for his shape, for his symmetry. And with this stomach, he loses a lot of points for that. But he's either second or first, I mean, he was sixth last year, I think this is a great achievement, being in the top two, having a two-man call-out, and if there wasn't for this problem with his midsection, I would probably say that he was gonna win the show, but like this, I don't know. However, he can hide it really well in some poses, like the front double, he does this really good vacuum, his waist looks super, super tiny, the axe taper is amazing, the legs, look at the legs, look at how low the adductors insert, this is really good, how, how developed they are, how thick his legs are, I mean, they, they're looking better than Sean Clarita's legs, and with his waist, and with his arms, and just the way, the, the way his body is shaped, like this flow of the physique, 
Man, in the front double, he's killing everybody. Front lat also, a very good pose for him. I mean, you can see that Sean has like more density to the chest, but Kion has more width to the shoulders. Sean maybe has more density and like dryness in the legs, but overall I think Kion's legs are bigger, and with his waist, everything just appears more freaky. So, I don't know. Let's take one more look at what Kion brought, I mean, his coach Patrick Tour did a phenomenal job with him, this is definitely by far the best Kion Pearson, he made so much progress from last year, I think this edition is better than that of Texas Pro this year, uh, side chest, also a very good pose for him, is it just me or is he showing some signs of gyno? I think it's starting to form, it's not bad at this show, but he should probably take care of it uh, next year before he competes next time, before it gets any worse, so once again, backside, really, really good, much improved, I don't remember ever seeing Kion looking this sharp from behind, uh, seeing this conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings and in the back itself, one thing is for sure, actually two things are for sure, Kion is placing in the top two, and this is the best version of him ever. Is he gonna win the Mr. Olympia? I don't know, but it is possible. As far as Sean Clarita, I mean, the guy definitely brought it. Like, he brought his signature conditioning, his signature density, uh, maturity. I mean, this guy plays top 5 at the Arnold Classic in the Open this year. He nearly beat Big Remy when Big Remy was really good, actually. Not his best, but really good. Uh, is this version of uh, Sean Clarita as good as that one of the Arnold Classic or the Mr. Olympia last year? Well, as far as the conditioning and the fullness and the peak and stuff like that, I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, look at this, like, uh, is he not conditioned enough? Is he not round and full enough? Yeah, I think he is, but he doesn't really seem as dominant in the lineup, and I think that's because of Kion, because Kion is that good. I don't think Sean could have done a better job, I think this is him at his 100%. The only question is, is he gonna win or be second? I mean, anything is possible, really, I can't tell. And as far as third and fourth, I'm pretty sure Carrot Baggio is fourth and Angel Calderon is second, but it's also a pretty close battle. Uh, I think everybody in this top four is pretty close, but yeah, I think the judges made the right call. I mean, I don't know how it looks in person, and I don't think we can tell who's gonna win uh, based on the live stream. I think the judges will make the decision based on who looks sharper in person and they can see that much more clearly and I think that's gonna be Sean Clarita, I think he will stay a champion, Kion is gonna be a runner-up, but let's wait and see, whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more Mr. Olympic coverage, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best, bye bye.